Hi, good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are doing all good at home. It's Miss Denise, and I wanna say I miss you guys. But we're gonna do um, our story time right now. If you got to see my question of the day was, what do you know about the story Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Because that's what we're going to read today. All right, we ready? So you guys know that this is the front of the book. This is the spine of the book. And this is the back of the book. This title of the book is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. This is retold by Bonnie Dobkin and illustrated by Rajesh Tanwar. All right, we ready? Let's see what happens. What do you think it's about? Well, I would think three bears, right? All right, so Goldilocks and the three bears. Once there was a little girl with a bright, happy smile and long, curly brown hair. Blonde hair. Everyone called her Goldilocks. You guys see Goldilocks there? Goldilocks lived in a cottage by the edge of the woods. Always curious, she wondered what was in those woods. May I go for a walk in the forest? She asked her parents one day. No, said her mother. Those woods are too big. You might lose your way. No, said her father. Those woods can be dangerous. You might get hurt. Promise us you won't go into the woods, her parents said together. I promise, said Goldilocks. One day, One day, though, the sun was shining. The air felt cool, and branches of the trees seemed to be waving at her. Goldilocks thought about her promise. I probably shouldn't go into those woods, she said. But she did. Now, deep in the woods, there was another cottage. And in this cottage lived three bears. Papa Bear was a great big bear with a great big voice. He liked to fix things around the house and he loved to cook. Mama Bear was a medium sized bear with a soft, sweet voice. She liked to work in the yard and she loved to sing. Baby Bear was a very small bear with a thin, squeaky voice. He liked to do whatever his parents were doing. All right, so we got Papa Bear and Mama Bear and Baby Bear. One morning, Papa Bear made a big pot of delicious porridge. He filled three bowls to the very top. First, he filled a great big bowl. Then he filled a medium-sized bowl. And finally, he filled a very small boy with pictures of honeybees on it. The porridge looks wonderful, said Mama Bear. The porridge smells wonderful, said Baby Bear. The porridge is wonderful, said Papa Bear. Eat up! Yo! cried Baby Bear. He's right, said Mama Bear, looking at Papa. Well then, said Papa Bear, why don't we go for a walk until the porridge cools? Hooray, said Baby Bear, fanning his tongue. And they set off 
into the woods. Just as three bears left for their walk, someone came running out of the forest. It was, can you guess? It was Goldilocks. Why didn't I listen to my parents, she said. Now I'm lost. I don't know which way to go. Uh-oh. Then Goldilocks saw the cottage. Always curious, she wondered who lived there. She knocked on the door. Hello, she said. Is anyone home? Of course no one was. And she kept, after, as she kept knocking, the door swung open. I probably shouldn't go inside, she said. But she did. The first thing Goldilocks saw was a cozy living room. In it was a fireplace and three chairs made of wood. One was a great big chair. Have you seen a great big chair? One was a medium sized chair. It glowed in the light and had soft fluffy cushions. Who do you think sits there? And one was a very small chair with butterflies painted on it. Who do you think but sits in that chair? Goldilocks suddenly realized that her feet hurt. This isn't my house, she said. I probably shouldn't sit in those chairs. But she did. First, she sat in the great big chair. The scratchy wood, the splinters in her bottom. Oh, goodness. Ouch, she said. This chair is too rough. Next, Goldilocks sat in the medium-sized chair. The chair was so slippery, she slid right off. <laughs> Whoops, she said. This chair is too smooth. Finally, she sat in the very small chair. Ah, she sighed. This one is just right. Crash! The chair broke all to pieces. Uh-oh. Oh, no, said Goldilocks. Look what I've done. I have to leave. But then she smelled a wonderful smell. <laughs> Always curious, she followed the smell to the doorway in the kitchen. What do you think's in the kitchen? Hmm? What do you think she smells? On a table in the kitchen, Goldilocks saw three bowls. One, two, three. The wonderful smell was coming from them. Suddenly, Goldilocks realized she was very hungry. I probably shouldn't taste what's in those bowls, said Goldilocks, but she did. First, she tossed the porridge into the great, oh, she tasted, I'm sorry, she tasted the porridge in the great big bowl. Oh, she cried, this porridge is too hot. Next, she tasted the porridge in the medium-sized bowl. There's the medium, large, medium. Ew, she said. This porridge is too cold. Finally, she tasted the porridge in the very small bowl. It wasn't too hot and it wasn't too cold. Yum, she said. This porridge is just right. And she ate it all up. Now, Goldilocks saw a stairway leading up to another floor of the cottage. Always curious, she wondered what was at the top of those stairs. 
I probably shouldn't go up, she said. But do you guys think she did? She did. At the top of the stairs, Goldilocks saw three beds. One, two, three. One was a great big bed. One was a medium sized bed. And that one was painted red. The big one was painted blue. And one was a very small bed with a blue and red frame. See, there it is. We got blue, red, and blue and red. Suddenly, Goldilocks realized that she was feeling very sleepy. Oh, I probably shouldn't try those beds, she said. But, you guessed it, she did. First, she tried the great big bed. Her head went down with a thunk. Ugh! This bed is too hard. Next, she tries the medium sized bed. This time, she almost disappeared. She could barely breathe. Oh, said Goldilocks. This bed is too soft. Finally, she tried the very small bed. It wasn't too hard and it wasn't too soft. Ah, said Goldilocks, this bed is just right. And she snuggled under the covers and fell fast asleep. A little while later, the three bears, remember Papa Bear and Mama Bear and Baby Bear, they returned home from their walk. They stopped in surprise when they saw the open door. Oh no, said Mama Bear. Someone has been in our house. Be careful, said Papa Bear. That someone could still be in there. The bears tiptoed into the living room. Someone's been sitting in my chair, grumbled Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, gasped Mama Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, squeaked Baby Bear. And then someone broke it all to pieces. How do you think Baby Bear felt now that his chair was broken? I'm betting it's pretty sad. What does your sad face look like? They hurried into the kitchen. Someone's been eating my porridge, roared Papa Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, cried Mama Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, squeaked Baby Bear. And then someone ate it all up. Oh, do you think he's still feeling sad? Or do you think... Mm, if there's any other feelings there. I know I would be sad if you ate all my porridge. Now, the three bears rushed up the stairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, growled Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, whispered Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed squeaked Baby Bear. That someone is still there! Papa Bear and Mama Bear rushed over next to Baby Bear. They looked at Goldilocks. Then they looked at each other. Papa Bear let out a great big roar. Roar! Let's hear your big roar. Come on. Roar! Goldilocks woke up. First, she saw a very small bear with big, wide eyes. 
Next, she saw a medium-sized bear with a worried frown. Then she saw a great big bear with great big teeth and great big claws. Goldilocks shrieked. Ah! Goldilocks jumped out of bed, rushed across the bedroom, leaped down the stairs, ran through the kitchen, raced across the living room, and burst out the door. She ran and ran and ran and ran until she saw her own cottage through the trees at the edge of the forest. Her mother and father were standing in the door doorway. Goldilocks ran up to them. We've been so worried, they cried, giving her a hug. I'm sorry, said Goldilocks. I should have listened to you, but at least you're safe, said her father. Come in the house. I'll make you something to eat. The next day, Goldilocks out in front of her front step again. She could see the forest. The trees seemed to smile at her. I probably shouldn't ever go into the woods again, she told herself. But... Do you think she went to that forest again? I don't know. How about you guys? If you guys think she did, why don't you let them send me a message and tell me what you think Goldilocks did, whether she went to the forest or whether she did something else. Use your imaginations and let me know what you think. All right. And I had lots of fun reading to you guys, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.